One of the best things you can do to help the monarch butterfly is by participating in citizen science projects like tagging a monarch. This pretty much just involves putting a sticker on the wing of a butterfly that has a unique code on it. Uh, this allows scientists to track their migration pathways and understand more about where and how and how far monarchs are traveling to Mexico. This is how we actually first discovered monarchs over winter in Mexico. It was a Canadian scientist, Dr. Urquhart, who started taking them. And anyone can do that now. Uh, we sell the tags here in our gift store. They are made and produced by monarchwatch.org. They're the group of scientists who've been doing this for over 40 years. So I'm going to show you today the safe way and the proper way to do this. It does involve holding and uh, handling a monarch butterfly, which sometimes freaks people out. We've been told almost since we were young that if you touch a butterfly, you're going to kill it. That's not quite true as it turns out. As you can see, I'm just very gently holding it at the base of the wings on either side of the thorax. Or you can take your two fingers and just kind of do the scissor hold like that, just not moving your fingers. However, you are going to have to kind of hold the monarch at the bottom of the, the wings like this because you're going to take the tag, which is just about a sticker the size of a pencil racer. I'm using a very sophisticated tool called a paper clip that is bent out to hold the sticker while I'm getting my hands in position. Sometimes you can use a pen lid or something otherwise. Try not to get your skin touching the sticker too much. You want it to stay nice and sticky for the butterfly. And you'll be putting it on the middle of the hind wing of the monarch. There's this part of the wing that sometimes people describe as looking like a mitten and you're aiming for the very center of that. So usually I use the paper clip to position it on the wing. Slide the paper clip out. You just take two fingers, give it a nice firm pinch, and that's about it. So I'm just touching the monarch very minimally, and after you put the tag on, you just have to record a little bit of information. The three letters and the three numbers that were on the sticker, your location, the date, and they also want to know if it's a male or a female. To do that, you usually just kind of spread the wings very gently like this. You're looking on the bottom wing again to see if there's a little black dot on the center. This one does have those black dots, which means it's a male. Females do not have that black dot. So I'll write down we're releasing a male monarch butterfly. And now people across North America can watch for uh, tagged butterflies, record the number. And down in Mexico, Monarch Watch will pay scientists to go around and record the ones that made it there. So click on the link below to visit monarchwatch.org if you want to learn more. We sell the monarch tags here in our gift store if you want to try it out. And you can always join us in our annual monarch tagging weekend in September for more tagging demonstrations like this and to learn more yourself. So we shall let this monarch butterfly go and wish it well on its journey to Mexico.